What's going on everybody? Tyler from Maple Volkswagen here. Hope you're having a great day, because I sure am. I'm standing beside the beautiful 2023 GTI Autobahn. Now this vehicle just landed from Germany. All of our GTIs now moving forward are German production built, which is huge. Um, historically, the Golf Rs were the known vehicle of being built in Germany, but now it's shared with the GTI. Um, so if you can just take a look at the front here, to notice that this is a GTI model, if you can't see it already, but it's got the red badging with the red pinstripe to go across. Because it's the Autobahn model, it has the LED strip that lights up at night, giving it a more signature GTI look. Really, really nice feature to have, and it's really nice at nighttime. Really cool open air vents along the side here. They are functional to help with breathing. We'll walk around to the side here. The vehicle has the 19 inch rims, look really sharp and take a look at these red brake calipers to match the red badging along the vehicle. I mean, there's not much that I can say about this car because it's already, you know, the, the vehicle speaks for itself, you know. Okay, so I've got the keys to this GTI and I'm gonna open up the passenger side door. And then if you caught, sorry, if you could follow me to the front, I wanted to go over some of the cool features that are in this car. Starting off with the bucket seats. Really, really nice bucket seats, and it's got the plaid style interior, which is, you know, what the GTI is known for. Red stitching throughout the whole car. It's got the GTI emblems on the back. In case you didn't already know what it is, it's a GTI with all the badging along the vehicle. Really nice perforated flat bottom leather sports steering wheel. This one has the DSG transmission, so you got the paddle shifters on the back. Um, which feel really nice while driving and they're just perfectly placed and they've got a nice click to them when you press in uh, When you go, you know upshift and downshift with these paddle shifters um, Heated steering wheel for this vehicle full digital display and the new display is really really sharp There's no physical buttons for any of these GTIs um, anymore uh, So everything is very simple clean and uh, and sleek Volkswagen did a great job with styling this car. Now at first, there's a lot of hate when it comes to the no buttons, um, but Volkswagen does things on purpose and you know they do it for good reason. So I think Volkswagen did a good job with this car and the way things are laid out. Now let me close up this door here. Now, my favorite thing about the GTI is it's a hatchback and hatches are always my favorite. You still have a lot of space in the back so if you had to store anything in the back you've got tons 60 40 splits you could fold down the seats if you needed to and more than that you've also got the passway in the front so let me hop in to the back here just so that i can show you if you had any skis hockey sticks plywood if there was anything that you had to put in here you could always just fold this down and then it gives you that extra space to pull things forward so you really don't have to move any of the other additional seats um, you could just fold down this middle seat and then it gives you that extra space to put things through. Really cool feature to have. Now let me close up this trunk. Now if you guys can follow me back over to the driver's seat, I'm going to hop inside and then I'm going to touch on some of the features that I find interesting in this car. Notice the, um, the light in the door handle. Really cool feature and then it also drops down on the ground as well. The GTI is my favorite place to be with all of our vehicles. Um, it's a vehicle that I've always had a special place in my heart. Um, it's just, it's in my opinion, the best daily driver to have. Um, it's a well-rounded vehicle and it does everything perfect. Um, so let me close up this door. Especially because they're now German built, um, you really feel that difference when it comes to quality, fit and finish, and then overall experience. Uh, these vehicles were historically built in Mexico and you really could understand and, and you know, you, you knew that it was a Mexico built car, but now with everything built in Germany and, you know, having that German um, last finish touches on them, it's just, it, it goes that extra mile. And everything is driver focused, right? So the passenger can do their own thing and the driver has everything pointed towards them. Um, it just, it, it, you know, gives more of that experience when driving the car when everything is focused and pointing towards you. Everything is very accessible. Everything is where it needs to be. Just like all of our other SUVs and other vehicles, it's not overly complicated. Um, so that while you're driving, you don't have to go and look for things. Everything is just where it needs to be. Really, really nice. I think I should order one for myself. In closing, 
the GTI is my personal favorite vehicle of the Volkswagen family um, for all the many reasons that I've just listed previously, but just the styling of this vehicle. It's something that I could just stare at all day long and you always find something new when you're looking at these vehicles. Especially like just standing right here, the side profile of this car, really, really nice. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Tyler. I work for Maple Volkswagen, the number one volume dealer in Canada. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you want to take one of these things for a drive, give me a call, send me a text message at 416-627-8264. Take care. Bye-bye.